So a couple quick questions. Sorry about the dogs. I got a lot of them. They're barking all over. Uh, grommet hole, pretty simple. Um, three inches or so above the grates. Thought that right smack dab in the middle. Thought that'd be the easiest way to do it. I just, uh, just get yourself one of these. Step bit, pretty cool. Seven eighths is exactly where it needed to be for this grommet hole. Just, uh, bam, kind of eyeballed it, centered it with the centered it with that and knew where the grate was and just drilled it and then just pop that grommet in works great i got all the guts taken out of it i just leave the wires hanging in it and it's easier to get in and out this uh tune and play i thought about it for a bit before i did it so you're used to seeing Oops. when it comes obviously this is bolted on the inside that's your vent door so i just took that off i had bought this piece of 12 by 12 steel from Depot, and you can see I just held it up there real nice and tight. Obviously the bolt hole wasn't in there, nor the hole in the middle. So I just traced it out and you're on this side. Do this with one hand. And you just hold this up under there and then you just trace out that shape. And I made it just as wide as wide as the door I just figured it would give it some more stability I actually notched it a little there because my cut was off to fit that bolt anyway cut it out uh, with a uh, jigsaw blade real simple metal blade 16 gauge it's heavy but not all that heavy it's probably shit it might even be thicker than this barbecue's made out of but probably the same and uh, filed off all the edges of it so it wouldn't gonna cut me and then I hit the one side of it over here with sandpaper and hit it with the 2000 degree high temp black paint and then simply lined it up marked the hole where the bolt was same factory bolt bolted it in and it just sits there and then I just uh, sprayed the inside of it with uh, canola oil like you would in the other part of your grill and that's it hole it's real simple i just measured the uh opening on the billows centered it i wanted it up high there the high as that would so it kind of let's see where are you it hits kind of right at the just above the bottom of the grate i would i had i switched back to this grate with the plate mounted to it that came with it to drop the box back down i was I had the other flat plate with the box it was so it would sit up higher you could get under it better but for the billows it would have been too high this this would have actually been blowing underneath of the the rack or the firebox or other choke coal box but yeah this is the that's the lava lock box burned up kind of been anal about it for a little bit I'm wiping down and oil and everything after every cook but i'm not sure that won't last that long couple of months anyway and that's the lava lock tuning plate I stuck in there and I had some foil down the bottom I had this up a little bit different initially underneath the tuning plate I had that other grate with some foil under it but I said the hell with it I switched back to this when I got the billows I just stuck a foil pan in there because I had it just to try to catch some crap I'll try and keep it clean for as long as I can but knowing myself it will go down the smoky road quick but this is that felt stuff that comes with the lava lock complete kit put it on the grill side and the top side real simple to do just make sure you wipe it all off with oil um, there's actually enough of this that I used that's what I used around between the firebox and the, and the smoke chamber uh, so I didn't have to use the red sealant and that, but this fiberglass stuff that comes with it I got it in between all the way around and then around here you could do got to stick that on with some of that high temp uh, rtb red silicone they give you so you know that's all sealed up sealed up sealed up sealed up, sealed up. and then i didn't read the instructions it's getting late and i stuck this on i wondered why it didn't fit so well on the top so i had taken a pair of uh, electrician's pliers and wrapped the ends real good with electrical tape and totally tweaked and bent every <laughs> every bit of that flange 
and these things have made it fit it almost exactly perfect. But, uh, uh, and then I also, you can see it from the top a little, that's the only gap I couldn't get. But anyway, the whole thing's got that red silicone around it. I hadn't realized you could just goop the silicone around and shove that thing up from the bottom. But whatever, it works. I can't change it now, it is what it is. It's custom. So that's it, that's my thing, it's been working good. Um, this lava lock kit comes with two, uh, two of these red clamp down latches you can put on here. But with this, both of these, with those seals on the lid and on the, uh, uh, on the box side, I, not, there's zero leaks in this, nothing comes out of there. The only place I get a little smoke uh, when it's appropriate is out the vent and some of it creeps through the hole down in there on the gas side underneath where drippings can run through so this chamber will fill up with smoke i don't think it's a deal at the moment i don't mind losing a little bit on um, the heat still this stays uh or the temps rather stay consistent with it so i'm not going to mess with it anymore but that's it good luck